Hey guys, Mark for Ashen Pro Tech Dog Training and Buddy. Hi, Buddy. No cool. Nope. Excuse the sound. I don't have my Bluetooth on my lapel. It won't hook up to my phone. We're using our phone. The other camera won't upload to the internet. Kusha. Hasi. Kusha. Good. So, um, Kusha. Pablo Today, what I wanted to talk about, if Buddy will leave me alone, Pablo Jay. Um, was basically what I'm seeing in Buddy right now, and I was out at working with another friend of mine, with uh, Ted Belmeyer with Leashless. You've met him on one of my shows. And we were going over Buddy's work, and he mentioned that it would be neat if you started to try to do a lot of the little tricks that I do with my dogs. In other words, what he's seeing is things that I do that are bridge behaviors, okay? A bridge behavior is something that's excitable and fun for the dog, and you put him back into the work. You'll see a lot of times you saw it with Rocky, where I would spin the dog on the outside of my leg, and then he'd come back into that heel position. Or you get the dog pumped up by going between the legs and then going into a ball, and then, oh, okay, yeah, boom, right away back into behavior, okay? So the behavior you're after is that healing exercise, but you do these little bridge behaviors that are fun for the animal that, can do, that builds drive and gets the dog into it. So I want to start building that into Buddy now. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. We're going to try. Um, but it's all about I have to condition these behaviors that he doesn't know. So it starts with that, using food, a lure, or a toy as a lure. But toy, remember, the brain goes out to lunch a little bit with a toy. So it's all about your ability. Remember, we've talked about this, right? Your ability to manipulate and be aware and cognizant of drive. Okay? and how important drive is because he's going to do a lot better with the, the speed. Um, accuracy kind of goes out to lunch when you build in the drive, but you can come back to static work. I've talked about that before too. Couché, Pabouché, I know, I love you too. Uh-oh, got the magnets on my lapel here. Good boy. All right, I'll see. All right, let's see if I can get you to sh show you this a little bit. So the first one, bridge behavior, okay? Buddy, oh yeah, we've got the dog luring, right? Let me go ahead and back up here. And I think this is my camera set right here. All right, come on, let me move these because I want the camera set. That's where I've got it pointed, was right here. All right, buddy, off. Oh, come on. And then I'll get the dog in tune with what I want. All right, buddy. Oh, yay. Good boy, good. Good boy, good. And you'll see another one. Watch this one. Buddy, you ready? You ready, ready? Again, the brain goes out to lunch and that drive state goes so high that it's, it's counterproductive. So we're going to use food right now. Boy, buddy. Oh, yeah. And I go back to things that he already knows. Oh, yeah. This is how we started our heel, remember? So I'm getting him pumped up. I'm going to use the food. Auditory stimulus. Those little lips you heard. There's reasons for all this stuff, right, that I've already built in before. Zeki, no. Quiet. Zeki's in his holding cage. Buddy, up here. Yeah. Yes, good boy. Okay, so try it again. We're trying to just create the behaviors now. We're starting to just build these behaviors. We'll start getting probably a, two or three of these things that'll be directed into bridge behaviors. It'll be directed into going back into the work, right? So if you look at this, up here. Hey, good boy, good. Up here. I spin, yes, and right away he's back into the work. So it's all about, try that again, maybe a little farther away from the camera. Buddy, up the head, good. And then I will use that little fun game, it's just play for him, that will end up getting that drive to be able to build in between my work and keep his animation up, keep his drive state up, but gives me the animation that I want to get the, the prancing or the high head, all that happiness that you see in the dogs when they're out in the field come from someplace. Well, this is it. He's ready for that now. He's ready to start building in some bridge behaviors that get him back into the work. Good boy. Not supposed to be pissing on my field. I'd lose a case of beer on that one if I was out of the club. If you go to a little bit of club etiquette for you. Usually the field that you work on where they put the blinds, they do all their main work, you go out and do the work, and they will always 
rag on you or bag on you if you have your dog piss on the field or dookie on the field, right? Because he's not allowed to, to, to do that because the other dogs come out and they get distracted by that smell that's on the field. So we don't want that to happen. And if you're in a club, they usually joke and rash you and say, you're buying a case of beer. <laughs> Some clubs might even have it as a, uh, a fine. They do all kinds of little club rules that they have in each club, right? Okay. Good boy. Good. So the other one that I want to do bridge behavior, that spinning from the outside is a good one. Yes, good. He's already getting it. He just started it last night. All right. So actually I started it yesterday, but last night we worked on it again a little bit. Hey, you good boy through, good boy through is into here, right? And so he's centered on his healing in the center of my body, right? I can take him through and then I can go, buddy, hope oh, yay, and then spin him right back into it from here, right? And it looks good in a demonstration type of a way. If you're trying to demo to your customers and things, it looks good out of the field. The dog's animation all makes is a plus for where the dog's head's at in the work. Remember what I said? So that's a little bit of my spiel today. I'll let you guys go. But that's what we're working on the next few weeks with Buddy. Starting to try to build in some bridge behaviors that will help me keeping his animation in his drive state up to a higher level than I want. The only other choice you would have is to put, put pressure on him and start putting corrections. To do When you do that, you're going to make the dog's stomach go right into the ground. He's going to be sad sack. He's not going to work as well for you. Will the job get done? Yeah, he'll do the job, but he ain't going to do it with the animation and the, and the attitude that we want. Where is the dog's head at in the work? The attitude, right? It's important. All right, I'll let you guys go. Have a good day. Mark Brash with Protect Dog Training. And Buddy, working on our bridge behaviors. Good boy. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.